I know you see it. I know you have a sense, but you're minimizing it in your mind as a fad, as a trend, as something that will eventually die out. Guys, it is not going to die out. It is growing at such a fast pace. You are lying to yourself if you think it does not exist. So what am I talking about? I'm talking about the digital economy, the creator economy. Here are some stats for you if you don't believe me. The digital economy makes up more than 15% of the global GDP and has grown 2.5 times faster than the previous 10 years of the GDP in the physical world, according to World Bank. 70% of the global economy will be made up of digital technology over the next 10 years, and it has been accelerated by COVID-19. The digital economy is anticipated to grow so much that it will create 30 million jobs and contribute to 30% of the global GDP. It still shocks me how people are in denial of this and not using the digital economy. You just accept that you're not good at technology and you just move on with your day. I feel like a tsunami is coming. <laughs> and it's gonna hit you and you're just not even gonna see it coming. Because if you think technology is hard today, wait until you see what's coming. I am also still shocked at how people continue to downplay social media. They think it's for kids. In fact, many of you, and you know who you are, act like you're too superior to use it. And businesses are running advertising like it's 1980. They continue to only see the downside and not how it's changing our connection, our society, and our world. Unfortunately for you guys, I actually think you're going to be left in the dust. In the dust of those who have their eyes open, their minds willing to change, those curious enough to try something new. Amazed at all the attention that is on this little device that sits in our hands. I think it's time for you to get curious, to take a few hours to consume a platform and start to understand its appeal to others and why they like it. Stop reading headlines that create your belief system and actually do your own research. These headlines are written by others who are also in denial of the digital economy. Start by falling in love with the idea. Sure, I'll check it out. Instead of, no, I'm not interested. If your bent is to generally say no, I challenge you in 2024 to have a maybe, a I'll check it out mindset. Many of you say, no, I don't like AI. No, I don't wanna learn new things. You are being a child. You need to wake up, open your eyes, stop living in the past, I know you don't want to, but you must. Sometimes we all need some hard love in our lives. I am only telling you this because I care. I care that you thrive over the next five to 10 years and not just survive. I care that you will be able to relate to your kids, to your grandkids. I care that you don't miss out on some of the most amazing opportunities in the history of the world. Listen to this, think about it. Never in the history of the world were you able to start a business with zero money, start your own media company, for free. Be your authentic self and create a business and actually make money from it. Get paid to do what you love. Help the masses with just a few clicks and also speak your truth into the world and you'll find your people. To win in this new digital creator economy, you need to develop new skills. You need to learn those skills from other creators and digital marketers who understand the new world that we live in. This is not taught at your local school or university. Well, they try. <laughs> but it is based on principles of the past and not our current economy. I should know, I'm an academic that works and teaches marketing and digital marketing, and I sit in meetings and I argue, and I have been arguing for years, that they are their courses are so outdated in understanding digital marketing. They still wanna apply old principles to the new ideas and it doesn't work. You guys, if you're gonna learn digital marketing, learn from people that are in the creator economy, that are in the digital economy, that actually understand what's happening. So you say to me, I don't want to be an entrepreneur, a business owner, an online creator. I like my nine to five jobs and what I do. Of course, that's fine. I will be the first to tell you that entrepreneurship is not for everyone. Running a business is not for everyone. In fact, many shouldn't. I am not telling you to do this, that you should completely change your job or your career. I am telling you this so that you know that it exists. So that when your grandkids make millions of dollars only working four hours a week, you don't call them lazy because you have understanding. I am telling you this in case you may want to explore this new economy for how it may benefit your life. I am telling you this so that you can live life on your terms.
and not on a script that someone else has written for you. So where do you start? My suggestion is to get curious. Start the scroll, download a platform, just start consuming, read articles, listen to podcasts, watch YouTube videos, nothing more than that. Just begin to understand and opening your eyes to seeing what's going on around you. Let me know what you find. I really wanna know. Let me know what you see. I really wanna know your perspective as well. I entered the digital economy in 2015. I majored in marketing and I taught marketing at the university level. But when I entered the digital economy, I had to start over. I set a new goal for myself. I said, I wanna be successful online. And this was in 2015. I did not wanna define it too far as I wanted to be able to pivot easily and know that I needed to learn a lot as I went along. So like me deciding I'm going to be an affiliate marketing, I'm going to be a course creator was not a good idea because I hadn't really gone into it and didn't truly understand it. I knew I had a lot to learn. I have had some success and I've had a lot of failure, but more success than failure. The biggest benefit of you gaining these skills is it helps you be more marketable in the current and future economy and that you will be ready for this economy when it comes because you will work differently. Work aligns more with your values and your skills now. A day is not defined by someone else. I can live anywhere and work any hours I want. I am currently living in New Zealand and have been for eight years. But if I move to another country, it doesn't change my job. I can do and be as flexible as I want. I can take off what I want. I can work when we're traveling. If I want, it's amazing. I am growing faster, so much faster than if I was working in my nine to five. I work harder a lot of days, you know, than I would at probably a nine to five, but everything that I have built is mine. Just in 2024, I encourage you to live life on your terms. What would that look like? What would be our ideal situation? Is it a little bit more time with your kids? Is it a little bit more money in the bank? I would like to take more holiday. I would like to just be in the moment and be present. Maybe you want to move abroad. Trust me, if you are moving abroad, I can help you comment below. I can help you with that. Do you want to enter the digital economy? I can also help you with that. Like I love everything about the digital economy and have learned so much over the, since 2015, I have started so many businesses and we can go into that. But if you want to enter the digital economy, let me know, just comment below. It's time to thrive and it's time to get you in the game.